How the world ran out of semiconductors. There's a global shortage in semiconductors, and it's becoming increasingly serious. Semiconductors are a fundamental part of microchips and thus integral to everything from computers to smartphones to renewable energy and military hardware. The automotive sector has been worst affected by the drought, in an era where microchips now form the backbone of most cars. Ford is predicting a 20% slump in production and Tesla shut down its Model 3 assembly line for two weeks. In the UK, Honda was forced to temporarily shut its plant as well. Even highly experienced tech companies such as Nvidia and Microsoft are struggling to provide a steady stock of graphics cards and Xboxes respectively. It appears that no company, big or small, tech or non-tech, is safe from the wide-ranging impact of the Great Semiconductor Famine of 2021. While it is easy to blame the COVID-19 pandemic for this situation, the truth is that the global semiconductor supply chain had this coming for some time. As much as 70% of the world's semiconductors are manufactured by just two companies, Taiwan Semiconductor, TSMC, and Samsung. This has created the supply chain equivalent of a house of cards. The pandemic has driven unexpectedly high demand for home electronics such as laptops and gaming consoles, as many people started working from home and seeking more sources of indoor entertainment. The straw that finally broke the proverbial camel's back was the sharp rise in Bitcoin prices in early 2021. This increased the demand for the graphics processing units that are traditionally used in mining the digital currency, exacerbating the semiconductor supply issues further. All of this has been enough to cause TSMC and Samsung to run out of capacity and significantly increase lead times to fulfill orders, leading to the drought we see today. The share prices of TSMC and Samsung have risen by 190% and 61% respectively in the past 12 months thanks to the supply shortfall. Prices of consumer electronics have shot up, thanks to scalpers who routinely buy graphics cards and consoles at recommended retail prices and sell them for higher prices on sites like eBay. It is only a matter of time before tech manufacturers and retailers decide to increase prices to match the high demand and low supply of the components. Expect to see releases of more expensive variants of existing electronic products hitting the market soon. Just like in an actual famine, the end consumers of these goods are going to be significantly worse off, with little or no respite coming their way.